Good afternoon guys. Ngayon ay December 17, 2023. Video number 175 ko na ito. Ngayon, uh, bago ninyo, pa, uh, pwede na lang ninyo tulungan ako uh, panuuri nito mula ngayon hanggang sa dulo. Tulong na lang po ninyo sa watch hour ko. Ngayon ay third Sunday of Advent or tinatawag na Gaudete Sunday. Rejoice in the in the Lord okay? rejoicing in the Lord okay? ang ibig sabihin ng Gaudete is rejoice, magalak okay? so may oras pa kayo magsimba mamyang 5, 6, 7 and 8 sa San Filipinary Parish, kaya nakaganyan na ako ready to serve na ako sa Shangri-La Mall kaya pagbalik ko nasa Shangri-La Mall na ako yung malimit kong ginagawa na Gospel and Homily ni Father Anton City Pascual, Presidente ng Radio Veritas 846. Rejoicing heartily in the Lord. Okay, so huwag ka limutan magsimba. Okay, may oras pa kayo magsimba ng 6, 7, and 8 sa Santo de Pinari Parish. Okay, uh, kaya nakiganyan na ako ng dito ng Shangri Ramon. Pagbalik ko, nasa Gaspar and Hogan na ni Father Anton City Pasqua. Okay. Earth, the Holy Gospel. He said, 
I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ, or Elijah, or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize you with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the river Jordan, where John was baptizing. Church of Shang, the gospel of our salvation. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, Shang. Good evening, Father. Excited, na araw na lang, na Pasko na, pas naligay ang pagsika na pala, na malapit na. But of course, let me remind you, we're not yet in that season, we're still in Advent season. At now, we have the third Sunday of Advent. Four weeks of Advent, symbolizing 4,000 years that the world waited for the coming of the Messiah, the Christos. We are now in the third Sunday of Advent. The call of the church is still violent. Ang Christmas simbang gabi, kung napansin niyo, buti na ang punay ng simbahan. Buti na sa madaling araw at sa gabi. At ang ating choir, especially in Puerto from Caloca, in singing Christmas songs. Of course, we must sing Bangalore. But now, this is a Mass of Advent. The color of the church is pink. Now, if you want to go to the church, it's not a pink symbol. So, it's a pink symbol. Okay, ma'am? I'm going to go to the church if it's pink. But of course, if it's pink, I think it's pink. I think it's pink. Anyway, it's a symbol of joy. Joy. Kagalakan. Vis-a-vis happiness. Kasi yan. Hindi na tanong ha. What is the difference between joy and happiness? Joy is interior. Inner joy. Interior. Happiness. Exterior. You saw someone. You saw something. You became happy. Joy is something rooted with purpose and meaning. You became joyful because you know your heart is in the right place. And perhaps you have discovered or discerned your purpose in life. Amidst the conflict all around us, there's joy in your life because you know you are in the right direction. That's joy. <coughs> Happiness can be the effect of success, of an achievement. Meron pang napagtagumpayan, meron pang narating. No? That's why you're happy. <coughs> joy is spiritually rooted. It's rooted in the spirit. That's why the authentic sign of God's presence, inner joy, peace and inner joy. No? Happiness as a general rule, I'm saying it loosely, is uh, a name. No? We can produce happiness for our own efforts. So that's the difference. And what we want is joy. Today, we are giving focus on joy. Because the second reading in 1 Thessalonians 5, you might say, rejoice always. No? And in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, rejoice. I say again. What do you say in St. Paul? Rejoice. I say it again. I say it again. So in St. Paul, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, rejoice. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. Rejoice. Let me say again. Rejoice. That is St. Paul. No? Reminds us because God is coming, God is with us. First reading, I say 11, when the Lord comes, there will be liberation, healing, transformation, freedom of the Spirit. When the Lord comes, God will transform us to be holy in spirit mind, spirit mind and body. God will transform us in perfection in spirit mind and body. Rejoice. So how do we rejoice? How do we rejoice as we wait for the coming of the Lord? Because we're still in Advent. Now, how do we dispose ourselves uh, <coughs> rejoicing as we wait for the coming of the Lord? Uh, as I mentioned uh, 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 for the last uh, two Sundays of Advent, Advent is about the spirituality of waiting. We're waiting for the coming of the Lord. No? 
And last Sunday, we were talking about the five things. No? May po mga tagahaloob. And last Sunday, we were talking about the five things you have to remember as you wait for the coming of the Lord. Nalala niyo pa? Siyempre, nakalimutan na natin. Tumapas na ang how many days? Seven days. days. Nakalimutan ko na rin sa totoo lang. <laughs> But what this evening, let's talk about, so what do you do while you wait? What do you do while you wait? Because uh, waiting is not about passivity. God doesn't want us to be lazy. Parang si Juan Tamat, very passive, very lazy niya. God wants us to be proactive, to be responsive as we wait for the coming of the Lord. So how do we wait? The W-A-I-T. The W means you write your learnings in your waiting experiences. Write it down. At least you forget it. Kaya tayo, maniliputin nga tayo eh. Kaya in order for us not to lose the authenticity, the beauty of our learnings, our experiences, our insights, we have to write it down. What is the difference between a journal and a diary? Pero ba kayong journal? Pero ba kayong diary? A diary, you write your experiences. Take hey, note. Journal. You write your lessons. Lessons learned. I do that in my cell phone, in my computer. Every time I read something, I learn something, I, I research on something, or experience something profound, I write it down. I write my learnings, my unlearnings, my relearnings. No? Please, you forget it. Is it in the Bible? Yeah. Numbers, uh, chapter 33, and Deuteronomy, chapter 11. No? God said to Moses, write down your experiences while you are in the wilderness for 40 years. In the two si Moses, write down your experiences, your learnings, lessons. No? Because these lessons, all this memory, will lead you to big successes. If you don't forget the lessons. And in order not to forget, you have to write it down. That's the first. Way, as you wait, write your learnings in your waiting experiences. Number second, word A, the A A I T. It's an acronym. A is act as though you have received it. Ooh, act as though you have received it. Okay. If you ask God something, you have to act it out that you have received it. That is the meaning of faith. Ano ba pinagkain ba ng faith and gratitude? Kapag natanggap niyo ng grasya, nagpapasalamat na sa Diyos, that's gratitude. Pero, hindi mo pa natatanggap. Nagpapasalamat ka na sa Diyos. You call that faith. And believe it. No? Kapag natanggap mo ng grasya, at nagpasalamat ka, ano tawag doon? Gratitude. Kapag hindi mo pa natatanggap ang grasya, nagpapasalamat ka na, ano tawag doon? Faith. Is it in the Bible? Yes! Mark 11, 24. Marcos 11, 24. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? Kapag daw ngayon nagtarasal sa Panginoon, ang kinin mo na na nasa iyo na at mapapasay mo. Huwag kang magbubunta. Huwag kang magalawang isip. Huwag kang ulong suyo. Act as though you have received it. That is the power of faith. Example, a woman pregnant with child. Okay? Sana makarelate ang mga kalalakihan dito. Uh, hindi na ito, para rin na. Hindi natin naranasan din. No? Para si, si Percy, makwento siya. Kapag isang babae, alam niya, maranak na siya, mother-to-be, in the next nine months, nagbabago na ang mental mindset. Nagbabago na ang actuation niya. Nagbabago na ang gilus niya. No, inaayo niya na because in nine months time she will be a mother a mother to be no, inaangki niya na yan magiging nanay na siya in nine months nagbabago na ang pag-iisip niya nagbabago na ang pag-alitan niya nagbabago na ang mga priorities niya saan ba natin uh, patutulungin si baby bibili naman tayo ng pula anong pula yun? ayan o oh, yung damit bumili na tayo ng damit ng baby pati ako pala bibili na rin ako ng damit ko ayan Diba? Tapos, uh, ano bang gamit? No? Uh, Tandil ng doktora, ano mga gamit na kailangan natin sa baby? At siya di, pinagpasak niya, sino nino? Sino nila? Saan bibig niya gan? Uh, Kuha ba tayo ng uh, uh, baptist pato? Yan ang sir, diba? No? Napansin nyo, no? Inaangkin mo na. Yan ang sinabi ng Panginoon. Angkin mo na. Kaya nagbabago na ang configuration. 
situation. But act as though you have received it. Amen? Amen. And so waiting is not passive. It is very active. You have to do something about it. As you wait for the coming of the Lord, one, God wants you to write your learnings in your waiting experiences. Number two, God wants you to act as though you have received it. Sabi nga sa Romans 4, 17, God, God calls you to existence. God calls you to existence. What is not there becomes because God says so. Nangyari yan kay uh, Abraham. Nangyari yan kay Gideon. Nangyari yan kay Peter. Nagsinabi yan sila ni Lord, nagbago na ang pagkatao ni. Nagbago na ang pagkatao ni Abraham. Nagbago na ang pagkatao ni Gideon. Nagbago na ang pagkatao ni Peter. So pagkat sinabihan na sila ng Diyos, God calls you to existence. God calls you to existence. Romans 4, 17. Third, third, what do you have to wait? The value AI. I means imitate the habits in order to have a strong faith. You have to imitate good habits in order to have a strong faith. And who do you imitate? Imitate the saints. Imitate the characters in the Bible. Sabi nga ni John the Baptist, prepare the way of the Lord. No? Ihanda mo ang buhay mo sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Diba? Make straight his path. Let us listen to the different characters in the Bible. Awaiting for the coming of the Lord. Our saints and martyrs. Awaiting for the coming of the Lord. And what do they do? No? Ano yung mga habits na ginagawa ng mga holy people? Keep on praying. Don't stop praying. Keep on praying. So this is second reading. Pray and see safety. Because it is in prayer that we connect to God and God connect to us. In Matthew 7, 7, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find out and the Lord shall open unto you. God wants us to work in it. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find out and the door will be opened unto you. Okay? Keep on praying. Especially during Advent season. Sana meron tayo spiritual moments of prayer time with God in silence. Keep on serving. Oh, yan ang pangalawa. Yan ang ginagawa ng good habits. Huh? Keep on serving. Pangalawa habit, keep on serving. Don't stop serving your family, your loved ones, serving those in need. Napakaganda na, na let's do a life of charity work, especially nowadays. And, and we would like to thank you, no, last Sunday, uh, in particular, it is important, last Sunday, salamat po yung ating second naman na fair, last Sunday, uh, we earned 500,000 pesos last Sunday. Salamat po sa inyo. Okay? Yung mga mabili. Yung hindi mabili, next year, meron na naman tayo para sa inyo. <laughs> okay? Yung po mga nag-donate, ng mga damit nila, at yung mga bumili, we earned 500,000 last Sunday, one day. Uh, and we will use that in order to sustain our 5,000 scholars nationwide. Second naman alone is supporting 1,000 scholars in college. No? Sa libo, pinag-aaral na. Second naman alone. No? So that's the way to do it. Keep on serving. No? That's why in order to be a servant during Advent season, I think you have to be a waiter. Waiter. Waiting, waiter. Okay. Pag nagpunta kayo ng restaurant, pag nakakita kayo ng waiter, Ano ginagawa ng waiter? Naghihintay, nakutusan mo siya. To be posted. Ito pong menu. May order na pa-posted. Yeah, gusto ko ng water. Cold or not water. Yeah, no? Kaya ganyan yung mga waiter. They want to serve. Kaya brother, kaya yung panahon ng adviento, maging waiter ka. And a waiter is a servant. No? Waiting to serve you in all your needs. No? Keep on serving. Keep on praying. And the third habit, that we would like to challenge you is keep on sowing. Keep on sowing. Especially in the world today, there's so much violence. There's so much uh, uh, hypocrisy. There's so much uh, lies all around us. Napakaraming kapalipakan, kasinumalingan, karahasan sa ating mundo ngayon. We need to sow good words. Sow good deeds. Good actions. Magdaling tayo ng kabutihan sa pananalita, kabutihan sa salita, sa isip, salita, at sa gawa. No? Magdaling in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, keep on sowing good seeds. Who knows when 
it is going to bloom and perhaps everything will bloom sabi sa Ecclesiastes chapter 11 huwag po tayong mangina na magtanim ng kabutihan maray mo baka lahat siya ay mamuka in God's time kung di tayo magtatanim ngayon kailan tayo magtatanim for the next generation kailan magtanim tayo ng those seeds no? that's why as I end this no? let us try to heed the challenge of the prophets that during this Advent season, let us imitate, I imitate the habits in order to strengthen our faith. Now, keep on praying, keep on serving, keep on sowing. Can you say that? Keep on praying, keep on serving, keep on sowing. And for the last, but as a wait, you know, Advent is a type of waiting, and I gave you the word wait, the new A I T. The value is right, A is to act, I is to imitate, and number T, number T means trusting God more than you trust yourself. Trust God more. Always remember that. Trust God more, more than you trust yourself. Because God knows best. God knows what is best for us. Because God is perfect. No? He will come. Nothing can stop him. He will never be delayed. God will come in his perfect time. Kairos, the perfect timing of the world. And God knows what is good, beautiful, and true for each one of us. And remember, Martha and Mary, by the gospel, the name is Martha and Mary. Martha and Mary, and she's yung uh, BFF of the Lord. Asama si Lasa. Yung tatlong yan, kapapatid, BFF of the Lord yan. Sa, sa Jerusalem. No? At ano naman natin, si Cristo is a itinerant preacher, is always out of town, ay eh, nakasakit ng COVID itong si Lazaro. Kaya na, <laughs> napraning si Martha, ah, yun eh, excited yun. Kaya tinex, benign her, email, no? si Lord, parang tinex pa siya ni Lord. No? Yan, no? Nag-ihingan muna yung iyong BFF, no? hindi ka makuwi, parang pag-aminig siya. At ano natin ang kwento, namatay si Lazaro. At ang umuwi na rin, eventually, si Cristo sa kanilang bayan, umuwi si Cristo, kinahanap pa si ano, Lazaro. Patay lang po si Lazaro, BFF nyo. Ha, patay na. Eh, hindi po kayong umuwi agad eh, patay na. Eh, nasa na? Ito po sa Loyola, Maripina. Ito po sa Loyola. Pagdating doon, sa nilindigan sa atin ni Cristo, Lazaro, come forth! Tumabas ka dyan. O, pwede nga sinabi ni Lord, Lazaro. Pwede niya sinabi mo. Mabas ka dyan, baka lahat, mabas ka dyan. <laughs> Lasa na lumabas ka, tulabas. So, ano ka ng message dyan? No? Ang pangkano ni Martha and Mary, pagalingin ni Lord, si Lasa. Pero ang pangkano ni Lord, iba, hindi pagalingin si Lasa. Buhayin sa kamatayan upang ipakita sa atin na si Jesus ay may kapangyarihan hanggang sa kamatayan. Hindi lang sa karamdaman, hanggang kamatayan may kapangyarihan siya. To trust God more than to trust yourself. And that is the challenge of waiting. During this time of Advent, brothers and sisters, we're almost over Advent season. Let us try to appreciate the drama of preparing for the coming of the Lord. Four Sundays, we are now the third Sunday. Be joyful. God will definitely come. But wait for His coming. Do not lose hope. Do not be helpless and hopeless. God will definitely come to deliver us from all bondage. And I shared with you, wait. The value, write your learnings as you wait for the Lord. A, act as though you have received it. I, retain habits to strengthen your faith. And T, trust God more than you trust yourself. Amen. Let us all rise. Salamat pala sa review ninyo mula kanina hanggang ngayon. Di ba ang ganda ng uh, pag-explain niya? Enjoy in waiting. Ang ibig sabi, may ibig sabihin pala in wait. Di ba kanina sinabi niya, uh, kung narinig ninyo kanina, maganda yung uh, acronym na wait. W-A-I-T. Explain niya kanina. Relate niya sa first reading, second reading, and to the gospel, di ba? Ang ganda. So, sa muli natin pagkikita, don't forget to like, share,
share and hit the notification bell with the all button para malaman ninyo kung anong uh, up and coming videos ko and please do comment down there kung anong masasabi ninyo sa video ito and please do subscribe my youtube channel and follow me on my tiktok instagram and facebook sa muli nating pagkikita shalom aleikum Hey guys, it's Echo and I'm with Louis Santos. Yo, check out this vlog. Thank you.